USPAP Advisory Opinion 23 Continued Page 133 If the client intends to use the appraisal to secure a single loan secured with all of the properties held by the client's loan applicant the subject property is the entire holding for instance the portfolio in this situation the appraiser must include research and analysis to address the impact of all of the subjects individual parts appearing in the market at the same time to be sold by one owner to one buyer the intended use drives this configuration of the subjects characteristics alternatively if the same client intended to use the appraisal to secure one loan under loan conditions that would allow each property in the holding to be released which means sold on its own the assignment is actually for several appraisals communicated in one report or possibly in several reports in this configuration each individual property is a subject property to be sold by one seller in the same time frame to potentially different buyers the analysis must still address the potential impact if any of having all of the properties in the loan applicants portfolio on the market at one time but without the necessity of selling to one buyer in one transaction the intended use of the assignment results alters the characteristics of the subject that are relevant to the appraisal and clearly alters the appropriate scope of work in the first instance the relevant data about the subject and about its market must reflect the subject's characteristics as a property portfolio rather than as an individual property within a community in the later case the relevant data must address the relevant characteristics and market conditions for each individual property analyzing a portfolio or property of properties as if each property were a separate element or increment of value when the subject of the assignment is the portfolio fails to recognize distinct differences between the markets for individual properties and portfolios specifically the value of the subject as a portfolio is not necessarily the sum of the values for each of the properties in that portfolio it could be less or it could be more number five a prospective client finances real estate development projects and requests an appraisal for use in a single family residential tract development financing package the client needs an opinion of value for the project and values for each of four individual floor plans as if each was a finished property on a typical or so-called base lot within the development the project involves acquisition of finished sites 
and the construction and sale of finished homes in phases over a period of years. All of the values are to be market value and the effective date of value is to be a current date. All for the intended use of securing the development loan and the takeout loan commitment. It is important to recognize that in this illustration, the assignment actually involves five properties. The entire project plus each of the four floor plans. In this case, the subject that is the project includes the land and the entitlements that allow development of the residential tract on the land. Each of the four floor plans becomes a subject under the hypothetical condition that the finished home on the typical or base lot actually exists as a finished property as of a current data value. The appraiser must then develop and report five appraisals of five different subject properties. For the development loan, the subject's relevant characteristics are those of the project, not the homes, and the scope of work to analyze the market for the project must address the entire project's characteristics. For each takeout loan, the relevant subject property is an individual finished home, not the project, and the summation of the value for those individual homes is not meaningful in terms of the value of the project. Indeed, summation of the value of the individual homes is to indicate to indicate the market value of the project is incorrect development and reporting such a summation as market value of the project is misleading. The scope of work necessary to analyze the market for an individual home as a subject property is significantly different from that necessary to analyze the market for the project as a subject property. Summary. Identifying the relevant subject property characteristics together with the other information gathered in response to standards rule 1-2 enables an appraiser to make a sound scope of work decision. Accepting a prospective assignment on the basis of incomplete information can result in a significant mismatch between the scope of work and the valuation problem to be solved in the appraisal assignment. The lack of clear communication with the client before deciding to accept or forego an assignment can lead to an excessive or deficient scope of work. When the scope of work is excessive, appraisers might unnecessarily forgo valuation service opportunities. When the scope of work is inadequate or the subject property characteristics are not appropriately analyzed given the intended use of the assignment results, the results are not likely to be credible or meaningful.